Alright guys, what's going on? Today I am going to upgrade my PF Sense box, my small low power consumption one new ITX system that I built in another video. You can find that on my channel, that uh, seems to be quite popular. Now I put a dual port Intel Gigabay network card in it in the first place, but I'm going to change that now because I want extra ports for testing purposes and uh, something I'm planning on trying later on. This is the new card I've bought. It was £40 off eBay. I uh, sent them my best offer, it was up at 55 I offered them uh, 35 off, no I offered them 40 and they took that, yeah that was it. Um, it seems in quite good nick, not very dusty or anything, it's been cleaned off. And uh, it's a server adapter basically, it's a Dell type one, it's the YT674 Pro 1000VT. It has 4 gigabit ethernet ports on it here, as you can see. And this is going to go in the router box, which I'll just go to now. Okay, I had to turn the flashlight thing on on my phone for this. And this is where the PS Sense box lives, just on this shelf in here. That paper there is to cover the LED, because it's an ultra bright blue LED, which lights the entire room up. So that's not very great for when you're trying to sleep. It's actually picking up a bit of dust here, so we're going to have to clean that out. I've shut it down, so there's nothing going on at the moment. And uh, I'm going to pull this out now and we'll stick this card in and give it a clean. Alright, so this is the uh, router, firewall, PSense box. It's in a one new short case for uh, ITX motherboards. These are some SMC Easy Connect ancient USB to Ethernet adapters. Now uh, I was using these because I thought they'd be alright, but it turns out they're only like USB 1.0 so they struggle to pass 5 megabit throughput and they're not that great anyway I'd much rather have Intel proper gigabit network cards, even if I'm not running them at gigabit just throw them out of the way now uh, the specs to this box will be probably in the description uh, if not you can go watch the video of me building it and everything's in there we've got some sort of like 250 watt supply I think it was which is nowhere near the amount of power it consumes. Uh, Super Micro motherboard, 2 Intel gigabits on board of it. I've done some dodgy labelling with some masking tape. <laughs> uh, this is the dual port Intel gigabit card that I put in as well. That's labelled. Alright, let's lift the lid off this thing and see uh, what it's doing like inside for dust. Quite a stiff lid. Especially if you've only got one hand to get it off. There we go. That over there. Got a bit of dust on the lid over there. We're doing fairly good in terms of dust built up. There's not a lot. There's a bit on the wire in here. That's a little bit so you can see it in the light. But other than that, I think it's just a case of cleaning the front panel and stick a brush in the fans. There's the dual port existing card. I believe that was also a Dell one. Yeah, I'd say it was Dell because it's really old. A O O whatever on it. It's a D three three six eight two apparently. So there you go. Now I'm gonna pull this card out and stick that one in. Hopefully it'll fit without issue. I haven't actually considered that, and I hope it also works on the PS Sense. It should do from what I've read up. But uh, there we go. There's the riser card thing that I got off eBay. Install this. A few people asked me about that. That was just like two pound off eBay. Oh, no, it didn't come with the motherboard now. Uh, right, I'm going to pull this card out. I think there's one screw in the side. And then we're out. Here's the old card. This is the new card. It's quite a bit longer. Alright, the card's installed. It fits in with a, a decent bit of room on the end. And it doesn't seem to touch anything. The heat sinks are slightly above the hard drive. Uh, now I think all that we've got to do is stick this lid back on, dust the front down a bit, um, see if it all boots up and works. Alright, we are hooked up now with everything we need, keyboard, monitor and power. I'm going to turn it on and hopefully we'll boot and detect six network cards. Network interfaces even, but yeah, there we go, super micro. It's 
quite sort of rubbish about it at the moment though, because I've uh, sucked some things out of my computer. Ready for a new build I'm doing actually. So if this card doesn't work in here, I'll have another use for it, I can assure. Hurry up and boot. This is a Adaptec Raid card, which is uh, part of a build I'm going to be doing, which is a large storage server. Probably looking 24 terabytes at least. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get another one of these quick port cards. If well, if this one works, in here, I'm gonna have to buy another one for that. And then I'm gonna put dual port ones and use Nick team in and a smart switch that I've got to uh, get bigger throughput than one gigabit. Ah, right, here we go. Network interfaces mismatch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six gigabit Ethernet connections. I'll buy Intel. So to me that says it's working and uh, we should be good. It says 2.4.0 on them and 7.4.2 on the onboard ones. Maybe it needs some sort of update or something, I'm not quite sure. But now I'm going to set this up, I don't want VLANs. Uh, I'm going to use auto detection next, I'm not sure what port is what. Uh, connect the wine, let's find a it's Ethernet cable here. The first one is uh, on the card somewhere, so let's go with that one. We've got a link up, that's an IGB3, so let's uh, enter continue. LAN is the onboard one, which is this one, that is my LAN, EM not. So, uh, A, insert the cable, link up, enter, right, uh, optional 1 is 1, 2, which goes next to 1, 1, which is in there, uh, so you're going to want auto on that, unplug it, Derp. doing this in the wrong order, there you go, auto, Connect it. Plug it in. Enter. Uh, Gnet is my guest network with captive portal and stuff on it for Wi-Fi. Uh, that's going to go into the other onboard Ethernet. So you want auto detection. Insert that. Enter. Uh, optional three is one three, which I'll get to later. That's going to be in there. Unplug it. Also, just say enter. Plug it in. Enter. Optional four. Uh, I'm just going to set up as a random interface and not configure it. Also, detect. That can be the other gigabit port. Continue. Link up. Optional five is nothing, so let's get rid of that. So we're going to be having one IGB three. LAN EM0, OPT1 IGB2, OPT2 EM1, OPT3 IGB1, OPT4 IGB0. So that means all of the interfaces are assigned. Yes. Alright, so we've loaded up. So there's all our interfaces. 1-1, one, one, home LAN, 1-2, guest net, 1-3, and option 4, soon to be 1-4, which is going to be very interesting. Now let me explain that, I'm going to do another video and I am going to attempt to pass 100 megabits per second download speed and 40 megabits per second upload speed using two DSL connections, one at 13.5 meg download which is 1.1 one, one, uh, and one at 11.5 megabits download which is 1.2 and they've each got one megabit upload. Then I've also got 4G which I managed to pull about 45 megabits down on, on the 3 UK network, but sometimes I can pull up to 60 down on it, and uh, about 15 to 20 upload. And then I've also got an EE limited edition Glastonbury SIM at the moment, which I'm going to be using as well. Now that's got 100 gigabyte of data on it, and it pulls 20 down and 20 up all the time, sometimes it can get to 30 down. Uh, and I'm going to combine these using some access point repeater things but with an ethernet port because that way I can output it into the UPS sense box 
I'm not going to explain it all in this video because this was just for upgrading the box itself. But um, watch my channel, have a look on there. And uh, there'll be another video on there with that and it'll be quite an interesting watch I think. Because uh, I like messing about with things like this and just seeing what happens. It's not a permanent setup, it's just for testing and seeing if it actually works and you can do that. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please like the video, subscribe, etc. I'm just going to put this back in its place now on the shelf over there and uh, be done with it for now. Thank you very much for watching.